Now, the NOPD is touting new crime stats that Chief Ferguson says shows the cops are starting to get a grip on violent crime. The chief credits recent shift changes, taking more officers from behind desks, putting them on patrol. WGNS Brittany Dixon is at NOPD headquarters in Mid City with the latest. Brittany. Yeah, Kurt Susie, the NOPD has reported five murders in the two weeks since restructuring. That's down from 12 in that same time frame last year. But robberies in the quarter are back in the spotlight, and tourists tell us they just don't feel safe. It was a little bit scary for a while, but anyway, it's fine. Fall festival season is here, and tourists are once again taking over the French Quarter. But for one person, the trip became costly. He was like, yeah, 200 more dollars, you can just go home or whatever. So we went back to my apartment, I gave him my headphones, uh, and he just left it at that. In the past two weeks, there have been seven robberies just in the French Quarter, and it has tourists concerned. Bourbon Street is nothing like I expected. Way sketchier than I was uh, expecting. We've had drugs offered to us every block, um, just out of the blue. Uh, prostitutes uh, approaching us all the time. It was uh, just different. But violent crime is trending down, and Superintendent Sean Ferguson gives credit to the restaffing. We are moving or trending in the right direction because of the things that we put into place with our DART, our district assistance re response team, with our administrative officers pivoting and supporting that patrol on the, in the field, as well as our investigators being more active in response to calls for service. Another issue the department was facing before taking in outside help, morale, which Chief also says has improved. I think we had a critical moment, or more or less a pivotal moment, where we're starting to see the ties change in the right direction. Right now it's just getting those ties to continue to go in that right direction. We also noticed there were five home invasion investigations so far this month, but Chief Ferguson tells us those are all isolated incidents and nothing to sound the alarm about. Guys. Brittany Dixon reporting live. Thank you, Brittany.